Hi, I'm Frank. Actually, uh, I'm coming from the, the Huawei transmission uh, part. So in this booth, is the, we, are, we want to introduce to you for this uh, transmission network. For 800 transmission, gigabit? Yeah, 800 G, because you can see this transmission like the T shape. Why we use this architecture? For example, in the backbone part, we right now the traffic is data centric from the east to the west, and also from the north to south, we call the Metro WDM. This is a traditional traffic. So how to reach the, the biggest capacity and the biggest switching longer distance, this is the key for the transmission backbone. And for the Metro, we need to share in architectures. So in this time, I bring to you these two architectures or two technologies to introduce the Huawei, the new technologies. Is this the fastest backbone in technology yeah. in the world? Yeah, for example, 400G and 800G. Right now, we already reached the longest the distance test in the China Chinese mobile. And also, this is unique in the China, Huawei. We use the optical switching. You can see this one. It's like an A4 size. A4 this is size. real? This is the real. It's the, our equipment. It's printed yeah. electronics, Print, roll to roll? Pr print the fiber cores. In you this, print it? Uh, yeah, print it. So, compared with the, the backbone in the core side, traditionally you have so many fiber cores. But if we printed this one, we will save a lot of space in here. And also for the sharing architecture is the same. We can come to here to see. Traditional each wing, each WDM side, we have each wing, we have unified the, the dedicated ring, dedicated side in here. And uh, so, but for the last mile, the traffic is not so huge. Usually, this have the 40 lambda system, 40 wavelength system. But this one, only in the last mile, only a few wavelengths to, to use. That's why, in the traditional way, build WDM, they will waste the, have a lot of pressures for the aggregation side. But for the new technologies, we use the, we call the Blade OXC Pro. This one is the pooling architecture. Use the same rings, but we only use the one rack one car. So one car for light rings, right? One so car. One car is this car. Actually we were, we have the rear car in here. Is this car. This card? Yeah. You can see this car they have the light ports. Each port support the, the, each directions. So they are sharing architectures. In this case you are saving a lot of the resource in this uh, aggregation layer. From the aggregation side you only have need one drag. So you save a lot of space here. And also we have this uh, automatic, uh, you can say this is the key components of what we call the 3D air course. Liquid crystal on silicon. You can see here, traditional way, you have only one, one inside and a different outside with this one to reflect, right? To reflect, to, to adjust in different directions. But for this, uh, we call it 3D, different uh, the, the fields inside, in here. So that's why we like a different plane with the different input and different output. So that only one by N is M by N. So this one is the new technology to evolution. Based on these evolutions, we can do the sharing architectures. Save a lot of the space, power consumption. For sure, the cost also save me a lot. Same performance? Same, same, same performance. Same, same bandwidth? Same bandwidth. But Liquid crystal. Liquid crystal. It's like a LCD. Uh, it's but similar. It's it's similar. But the LCD, fiber. The, the LCD, the other one is for the display. This one is for different uh, direction to switching. Switch the direction. Switch the direction. And uh, this is uh, 100 to 400 G this, this one is for this, we call this ring. In the beginning, you can see in here, we have the different uh, right, traffic. From the 4G to 5G, we have 25G the traffic in the access side, 60G in the home board band, and also the for this enterprise, right? We have almost 100G. That's why in the day one or day zero, we, we have this uh, 100G in the small boxes. And in the next, uh, for example, two or three years, we call the 400G evolution, right? 80% lower power consumption. Yeah. This 90% low, lower footprint. Footprint, yeah. This is compared What's the with... footprint? Footprint right now is night chassis. For example, you have yeah. night chassis, light car. But no, right now, it's one. only one, one car. That's why we save the space. Is but we this just, already uh, deployed or is yeah, the future? Yes, uh, this is already deployment. We already released this product uh, on this March, MWC Barcelona. So right now, the, we have this more applications, right? We have more than uh, 15 the, the commercial use and 30 POCs. And, and uh, so this is a... Uh no, this is the backbone from the backbone, backbone part. Yeah, backbone part. Backbone part. Before I introduced for this one is yeah. the from sharing architecture is the metro. And this is a new way of doing things. 
this one is actually it's not a new way, but it's uni unicated right Unique now. Way. Unique okay. way. Right. Because this one we developed two years, three years ago, and we were deployment a lot of the uh, states on the world. Okay. So what do we see here? This is the WSS. This is like uh, use the different. Uh, you have different uh, location. You use this component to switching from direction A to direction B to direction C with this uh, component. It looks like a, a prism. Yeah, this one it's is actually how you design it inside. This here. one air quotes. So like uh, you can see, it's like this one. You have air quotes inside. You use the you use the, the voltage control control this liquid crystal and this liquid crystal like a mirror. Use different angle to to do the, the optical switching. So wow. this one is the C band and air band. Right now the Huawei we unified the you can say the traditional way C band air band is different lengths to alignment. Right now we call the measurements for this technologies. You can see on, on inside we have different color, use different face, right? So this one to totally replace the lens with this one. You can switch in with the more capacity and the switching and the low fuel components. Based on this one, you can double capacity, small cap. Uh, no more lens. Right now it's not because other lens we already filmed in, in this lens. Nice. That's why. That's why in this one we have the new technologies and the, to do we call the integrate integrate WSS. Industry first. Yeah, yeah. This is integrated together. And what do we see first. here? This one is the, for the different band. Transmission. Transmission is very like a, like a, the wireless, right? We have different spectrum, spectrum, and uh, to do the, to the, support the capacity. For for this one, for example, this one is the C band and the air band. C band is the traditional band. So new new one is the air band. So Huawei dope the different uh, materials inside this uh, fiber in the uh, urban urban dope the fiber. For this one, we can enlarge the not only C band, also to the air band. With this type of this, uh, we can double the fiber capacity. And this one is the module, like the engine. We like 400G, 800G use this module to do transmission, very long distance. We can reach the 6,000 kilometers in this moment. 6,000 kilometers? You know? Yeah, without regeneration, without the uh, electrical regeneration with this one. That's crazy. That's it.